Okay, so I'm gonna show you the mechanical aspects of the clock. So first, basically this is this piece of aluminium. Um, it has been milled from several different uh, directions. And the uh, everything is gonna go in here. So I have some uh, a couple of levels here. Here, so the deepest level is for the battery and vibrator and speaker and everything like that. And the next level, you can see here the um, you can see here there is a level here that's going here. This is for the PCB to rest. So the PCB will rest inside of um, at this level. And then the next level here is a, a cutout for the buttons and stuff. So the screens and LCD will be from here to the top. And then the highest level here, which is from here up to here, is for the next piece, which is this one. And this is made of titanium. If you see the other side here. You can see some cutouts for the buttons. So the buttons is well, resting on this lip and going through here. And then I'm going to mill some piece of glass. So you're going to rest on here, go through here. So this fits perfectly in here, at this direction. So you can see that if I press this on like that, you can see that the edge here is not really closed. Yeah, there. So you can see that this edge continues on over uh, the titanium. And then all the sides. And then I have some screws which keeps everything together M2 screws and you just, these are just screwed down to hold it together and they go flush with the edge here and then I ordered some pins and stuff that's going to go in here in these holes and connect to the um, wrist band or whatever it's called it's going around if I can unscrew this again and then in here if I can remove the screen is coming so the screen is going through this and basically the the width of this cutout is the same as the active area of the screen so I lose some pixels up here in the rounded corners but that doesn't really matter and this board is just a test board to evaluate the screen and stuff. So I think it's going to be quite tight, but everything is going to fit. I will actually have some room left, so I'm, I do actually have room and a pin over if I wanted to add something in the future. So maybe I could add an accelerometer or something like that. I, I have some spare room. Maybe like um, three millimeters by three millimeters by three millimeters or so. I can add whatever I want in. Maybe even a bit more, maybe three by five by something. Yeah, a bit of room. So I can add some stuff in. Yeah, and these holes here are uh, M2 threads. Uh, I milled the threads on the CNC. Yeah, well, that's basically all of the mechanical stuff of the clock. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, maybe I'm going to an anodize the titanium piece and the aluminium piece. I don't know if I will, but I have at least checked for those options. Yep, yeah, that's all.